the client is actually uh, fundraising at the moment, so we are hopeful that uh, he'll, he'll manage to raise the, uh, the cash bill. My name is Michael Wabomba Masinde. I'm an advocate of the High Court in Kenya. Uh, so today, uh, Brian Chira was arraigned in court and charged with uh, the uh, offences under Section 27 of uh, Computer Misuse and the Cyber Crimes Act. He pleaded not guilty and uh, was uh, granted a cash bill of uh, 50,000 with an alternative of a bond of 100,000. So basically that is what happened today. Yes. Maybe is it something that uh, you guys as the lawyer and the team, are you satisfied with uh, that? Yeah, we, uh, we are satisfied with that huh? because I think the, uh, the, uh, the amount was reasonable, was reasonable bearing in mind uh, uh, the unconstitutionality aspect of it whereby he had been detained for more than uh, 20, uh, 24 hours. He was actually arrested on Thursday at uh, 12 uh, noon and was never presented in any court until today. There was no application that was done to, uh, to warrant uh, police officers to hold him for uh, that amount of time. Yes. Uh, the client is actually uh, fundraising at the moment, so we are hopeful that uh, he'll, he'll manage to raise the, uh, the cash bill. Yes. Uh, proceed next month, uh, September, uh, no, September, right, not August. Uh, maybe you as the lawyer and also the team, what are your plans? How prepared are you for the case? Are you going, are you ready maybe for what is coming or uh, what should we expect now from you? So basically, I have a policy where I don't discuss uh, uh, active cases in court. What I can only tell you is limited to what transpired today in court and what is uh, in the purview of uh, the public. I cannot go into details on uh, uh, on uh, merits or demerits of any case. Yeah, it goes against my personal policy, so I cannot discuss that. I can only tell you what happened today in court. Uh, maybe what are your... willingness maybe to apologize so that this matter can be settled? Yeah, uh, I think, uh, uh, I think uh, that, that issue goes to the merits or demerits of the case. We are, as advocates, we are handling and exploring different channels, which I cannot be able to disclose at this moment in time. Yes. Maybe what are your charges in this case? Uh, I can't say. <laughs> Why? Just tell us. No, uh, we, we'll talk, uh, I'll talk with him, I'll talk with him, uh, I'll charge him uh, depending on the advocate's remuneration order and the seriousness of the offence. So uh, that is something between me and him, personal. Are your services pro bono or are these services pro bono or you're going to charge them? No, we'll, we'll, we'll charge them, they're not pro bono. Yes. I'm talking to the uh, to Aziad's a lawyer, and he said maybe if there is something or a rather um, something like an apology, then maybe maybe the uh, Aziad may accept it. I don't know whether it's something that you have discussed with the lawyer. As I said, uh, that is something uh, that, that goes to the merits and the merits of the case. So I cannot be able to say any discussion that we had because there is also an issue of uh, client advocate confidentiality. I don't have his consent right now to discuss on the details of the case, so I cannot go to. Uh, I cannot say. I cannot comment on that at this moment in time. Relations are there that your client is facing some kind of depression and stress. Maybe have you talked to him? You as a lawyer, or maybe just to get a chance to talk to someone who is close to him. Yes, I've talked to him, but as I said, I cannot uh, disclose my client's medical condition without his consent. Yes. Actually, uh, the complainant's advocates have expressed interest that at some point in, in, in the proceeding, they may open civil uh, proceedings against the suspect. Are you, how are you looking at that? I, can, I cannot comment on that. I'll, I'll, uh, because you, uh, I cannot speculate. I cannot speculate. I'll deal with what is on the table at that point in time. I cannot speculate on that because it has not been brought against him. So I cannot be able to, comp go to, to uh, comment about that. We informed that maybe before the arrest, uh, Brian Chira had been suspended from school. I don't know whether it was out of this whole story or it's just something else. Uh, that is news to me. Uh, he hasn't told me as such. Uh, maybe. Uh, uh, he hasn't, he hasn't disclosed that to me. That is news to me. I wasn't aware that he had been suspended. Uh, Brian was arrested and, uh, in Nakuru and brought to Nairobi. I only uh, came aware of uh, the case yesterday in the evening yeah, because there was limited contact with him.
So I actually got instructions today. Yeah, it's now that we'll have a sitting and discuss everything about him. Uh, normally, as lawyers, we have the cab rank rule. You take any case that comes, so long as it's not uh, in dispute with your uh, your conviction. Or maybe, according to this case, what are you looking for? I cannot be able to discuss that. It goes. Uh, I can. I have. A, I have a principle that I can't discuss active cases, unless, uh, unless, unless, unless I'm, I'm, I'm actually uh, talking about what has transpired in court. That is what I can be able to say. But. A case that is active in court, I cannot be able to comment about that. Yes. I cannot be able to comment about that as well. <laughs>